I just got back from Mash and Journey's summer jam at Sagmore Distillery. Should you go next year? Stay tuned. So the first day was at the Sagmore Distillery in downtown Baltimore. It's a beautiful venue right on the water. Gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of Bardstown's distillery. So as part of the event, you had a free drink ticket. I went straight to the bar, looked at what they had. They had all their normal offerings and also their eight-year bottle and bond. So own juice, a bottle and bond. You could also do flights of the two distillery exclusive and pick the Mash and Journey did, or alternatively, you could do another flight of their base products. With my drink ticket, I chose the pick from the event, and I have to say, it is the best Sagmore product I have ever had. And I do not say that lightly. I've had the eight here, I've had their own juice, I've had all their baseline stuff, and this one knocks it out of the park. I noticed they're selling it at the distillery. I don't know how many bottles they have, but I would call in and see if you can go down there and grab one because it's not even that expensive. I think they put it at 69 bucks and a lot of the distillery exclusive is $79. So I think it is worth every penny. If you can get one, get one, maybe even buy two. So the merchandise, they had a bunch of different stuff you could have. To be honest, I'm not a big merchandise guy, but they had plenty of stuff here for you to choose from. These barrels are pretty cool. I might buy one eventually to try and age stuff at home. Now they did have some dog collars. I almost got one for Watson, but I think he's fine. Now these candles, my friend is in love with them. I don't remember which scent is his favorite, but I know they are a fan favorite. And once again, Sagmore just has such a beautiful facility. Nice little deck to have a good drink on and overlook the water. So as part of the event, we were able to take some tours of the distillery, which was pretty cool to see. If anyone knows what that barrel is used for in the bottom line, please leave in the comments. I am dying to know. It, I just don't understand what it is, but it looks cool. So this is a cool part of the bottling room. They had this barrel with plexiglass on it. You can see how much angel share they're losing every year. This was barreled on 2017, so you can already see how much has just evaporated since then. Hey, this is always my favorite part of these events, and it's the bottle share. There are so many good bottles. The first one that caught my eye was this 13 Colony Rye Cast Strength. Oh man, it was so good. We had the old Carters, we had Fair Character. Uh, there's also another Willet Appearance. I'm not too familiar with this High West Special Edition, but I know people go crazy over them. And then this was by far my favorite bottle. It was brought by Jason from the Mash and Drum. It was a wild turkey from 1979. It was my first Dusty I had ever had. And it, oh my gosh, it was mind blowing just to be able to try it. Cause that's a bottle I will never be able to try again. It had this nice buttery butterscotch taste to it. You know, everyone always talks about dusty nose and I had no idea what that was. And it's just a cool experience to be able to taste. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. I'm a small channel trying to get to a thousand. So hopefully we can do a live stream with you, bring on my pup Watson and just have a good time with everybody. So there are so many bottles here at this bottle show. You can't drink them all. There's just too many to drink responsibly. 
Leave in the comments which of these bottles you would have picked to drink. So the second day was at the Sagamore Farm. Now this was a magnificent venue. My breath was just taken away. It was such a gorgeous backdrop with the mountainside, with all the trees, the horse track. It was just breathtaking. At the event, we had whiskey from several Maryland distillers, including Sagamore and Old Line. It was really nice trying all the Maryland distilleries. A lot of them I hadn't heard about. And it was just a great experience to be able to try all of them in one place without having to buy all the bottles. Event did reaffirm my love for Sagmore. They had by far the best whiskey at the event. There was also a cigar station there where they were rolling cigars live right in front of you. It was really cool to watch just all the steps they go through to make a cigar. I've never tried to roll one before, but I feel like there should be classes. I feel like that'd be a fun Saturday activities with the boys. Go out, everyone roll a cigar, smoke them. They'll probably fall apart in your hands, but you know, a cool experience regardless. I had merchandising for the event, t-shirts and glens. They also had some activities you could do. It was axe throwing and cornhole, but I didn't participate because I am not the most athletic individual. The coolest part of the event was doing the hayride around the distillery. They haven't done this since COVID. You used to be able to go out there and do tours, but since COVID, they haven't been doing tours, so it was a really unique experience to be able to go on the farm, ride around, see where they are growing the rye. Right here was where rye was grown, but they've already harvested it. We went out to the center of the farm where they had a spring that they used for all the distillate. This so where they go and grab it to dilute the whiskey and see it coming out of the ground. It was a pretty cool experience. Saw at the house they had pennies proof. It wasn't open for tasting, but cross fingers for next time. And then at the end of the hayride, we went up to one of their rick houses. This was an absolutely gorgeous rick house. Now this Rick House is where they do their private barrel tastings. It's on the top, it has a bunch of information also along the barrel head too. On the trip, we were also able to see their first barrel ever poured with the signatures from the employees. So in recap, the venue was phenomenal. Drinking whiskey on the farm that the whiskey was made at is just unbeatable and a great experience that I hope everyone can have one day. And then as always, the bottle share was one of my favorite parts of these events. Just being able to interact with the community, talking to everybody and trying whiskey that you know you'll probably never be able to try again. It's worth the trip in itself. So all in all, I had a great time. You missed out. Make sure you go next year. Until next time, cheers.